नमस्कार नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट आदित्य एलवन मिशन विथ रेफरन्स टू दैट वी आर कॉलिंग एज लैग्रेज पॉइंट्स एक्चुअली देर वॉज इटालियन साइंटिस्ट ऑन हिज नेम दीज पॉइंट्स आर नेम्ड एज लैग्रेज पॉइंट्स सो आदित्य एलवन मिशन एज यू आर अवेयर इट इज सेट for l1 point so what are these lagrange point first i am going to discuss in brief say so our lecture is not on lagrange point but i am explaining here so first try to understand this diagram so here this is sun this is earth now sun is having tremendous gravitational field as well as earth is having gravitational field because no doubt with compared to sun earth is almost having negligible mass but yet considerable mass is there for earth also so when two massive bodies are there at that time uh, certain points are there they are called as lagrange point they are mathematically calculated by that italian scientist and uh, these points are somewhat like this here i have shown l1 the l1 point is shown in red color because our aditya mission is going to launch uh, space uh, here so this is l1 point this is l2 point see earth and sun l1 is between earth and sun okay whereas l2 is exactly opposite to the earth so opposite to the sun from earth so these two points l1 l2 now suppose i am joining the line l2 earth l1 sun they are all collinear this line is extended towards earth's orbit then third point is there that is called as l3 point after that l4 and l5 just consider sun to earth as a base and equidistance we have to draw equilateral triangle here and equilateral triangle here apex of this equilateral triangle we are having l4 and l5 point now earth is orbiting in this direction so l4 point is here that is we can say leading to the direction of earth whereas l5 point is following uh, ultimately uh, what is the meaning of this point so suppose we are launching the spacecraft over here then very less fuel is required to keep our spacecraft in motion now uh, gravitationally we can say this way that gravitational pull of earth and gravitational pull of sun that is almost neutralizes at this point so they are called as lagrange point now out of these five lagrange point three lagrange point they are unstable whereas two point they are stable so here it is shown by mark u so l1 l2 and l3 they are unstable whereas l4 and l5 they are stable now what is meaning unstable that we have to correct the position of our object over there and for that purpose fuel is required now you may ask question then instead of wasting fuel like that can we place uh, our spacecraft in orbit around earth as we are launching satellite say when we are launching our satellite uh, the thing is that we require energy to take that satellite from earth to orbit but once it is orbiting no energy is required for orbiting motion energy is required for function of satellite so that is achieved by solar panel okay so by pull of gravity we can uh, use that uh, energy and we can uh, able to make motion of that uh, satellite very easily without fuel but there is a problem Uh, i want to observe sun continuously and if i am having orbit say for example polar satellite is there it or it orbits around our thin 90 minutes so it will not give me continuous look of sun okay even gs uh, geostationary satellite or geosynchronous satellite then also it is orbiting around our thin 24 hours and therefore for half of the time or some part of time it is not not available but suppose point is here l1 it is nearly 15 lakh kilometer from earth surface 15 lakh kilometer it is 1.5 million kilometer so we are aware that even moon 
is not an obstacle over there. Moon's orbit is also less than this orbit. So we have to place here. Then we can continuously observe sun without interruption. Now, uh, no doubt, we are not forced to go to L1 point. Uh, Chandrayaan 3, we are first to launch, to land on, actually it is very wrong word to land, uh, to moon we have to say. So we are first to moon at south pole of moon. But uh, here already NASA sent their mission. So SOHO is name of their mission sim uh, symbolically. Whereas on L2 also, W map uh, was there and now Planck is there. And in future, uh, James Webb telescope will be also planned their house over there only. So like that already there are missions in this location. So we are going to be there at L1 point. Now what is the advantage of uh, launching uh, there? The thing is that we can observe sun continuously. We have to study sun in detail. From earth also we have studied out. Certain knowledge is there. So for example, surface of sun is comparatively cold. Don't be under impression it is like Antarctica. Comparatively cold means its temperature is around 6000 degrees Celsius. 5 to 6000 degrees Celsius depends. But uh, core of sun is very very hot. Whereas the part that is actually called as corona. It is not name of disease or not the name of virus. Okay. It is corona. When we are observing total solar eclipse from Earth, when Moon is exactly coinciding Sun, at that time the brightness of Sun is not observed from Earth. And then the outside part of Sun, uh, beyond Sun that is observed, that is called as Corona, something like petals of flower we can able to observe, that is called as Corona part of Sun. Now, uh, corona is having temperature in the range of several lakh degrees Celsius. And then we have to find out why. Various things are there. Sun is emitting out charged particles continuously. We are calling them as solar winds. You are aware that tail of comet is always showing opposite direction to the direction of sun. This is because of solar winds. Uh, in atmosphere also these solar winds are coming. Uh, that's why we have uh, we means those who are staying in north hemisphere towards north pole and if at all you are going to Antarctica then beyond certain line in Antarctica they are able to observe uh, that is called as in uh, north hemisphere it is called as northern light in south hemisphere it is called as southern light or simply we can say aurora so uh, this aurora that is discharging of charge particles coming by uh, coming from sun. But earth is having strong magnetic field and that's why they are not scattered everywhere on earth. They are restricted to polar region of earth. Now we have to study that. So the charge particles we have to study, we have to study corona, we have to study surface of temperature, surface of sun and like that various things we have to study and for that purpose we are sending this mission. So our mission will be there at L1 point and uh, it will study out all these things. So thanks for observing this video.